Man, for real. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, what's up? You want to see us? Uh, yeah, come on in. Ah, heck of a season, huh? We almost got it. <laughs> you mean almost is in showing up and putting on the uniforms? Yeah, we did that. Now, let's get to it. Brass tacks. When we traded and dumped half our team to bring you over, we thought you guys was going to get us over the hump. Kelly Clarkson, what the heck were you thinking? Huh? You spent too much time oiling your little greasy hair, lining yourself up, getting your little manicures, like you're going on stage to perform. But you're going out there, turning over the ball, tripping over your own two feet. Haven't you ever played basketball before? But I was just trying to do not, 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 not. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear what you was trying to do. We didn't pay you to try. We paid you to succeed. And you failed. Buying your little Beats headphones and comparing songs and sharing them on your internet. Well, you can have time to do all that when you're in Phoenix and Sacramento. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're thinking about shipping you. And what's about you, Mr. I'm sorry, what is your name again? They call me, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm Junior Ness. Oh, Nancy. That's your name. Yeah, we got a letter from your dad. It says, look, don't ever compare me to my sorry-ass kid again. Stop showing me and putting my records up with his sorry self. My daddy would never write nothing like that about me. Well, he should have. Because you're an embarrassment to his name. What did we bring you here for? Well, I tried my best out there on that court. I gave you, I did my best. I played to the top of my ability. I did my best out there. When I was on the court, I tried. I, I did my best. When we brought you over here, was it for you to do your best? Well, help us win. Did when we, when we brought you over here, we said, well, Nancy, we brought you over here because we want you to do your best. Did we say we want you to play to the best of your ability? We said we wanted you to help us win. Did you do that? Because we didn't win. So how would I even agree with the fact that you helped us? Hmm. George over the hill. Well... You've always been a loser. You just don't have it in you. Whenever the Spurs dump you, you know, and they dump you down to Loserville, Indiana, you, you kind of, the writing's on the wall, kid. You look, you're a great basketball player for three quarters. But when the chips is on the line, you know where to be found. You're going to fold. You've done it your entire career. That's why you were in Utah. Got a lot of televised games there. And now the lights were back too bright. And we knew what you was going to do. We knew you were going to go over the hill on us. It's what you do. Fold. Now. Rodney. Rodney. Rodney Hood, Robin Hood, Rodney. What solve down solve <laughs> trailer they drag you out of? Rodney? People are still naming their kids Rodney? Listen. I don't know where they got you from. I don't know what swamp they didn't drug you out of, but I'm quite sure that you know how to play the game. It's a mental thing. Okay. Stop chewing on that grass and get over here and talk to us. 
for a minute. Listen to what I'm talking about. Listen. If basketball don't work, I got a wagon out there that you could probably pull around and make a living. Okay? Feed you, feed you a whole bag of oats and let you go around here and pull wagons and pull fruit and all this stuff if basketball isn't for you. But I think you got a future. Just not here, son. I don't know where you're going to go, but um, you can play for somebody. But you need someone to give you loving and attention and be the main guy and give the ball to you and give you that confidence. But you can't play here. You can't. Now, I understand you had a problem with King James, right? LeBron. You and old man, bro. Well, he's the past. We might keep you around. I don't know. But none of you guys are responsible for us losing that final. The reason why is because old man Brian was on the team. He's 100% responsible because he wanted you. Yep, he wanted you. He was happy that he got you. He wanted us to trade. Other than that, I wouldn't be looking at any one of your faces right now. You'll be in your collected places still right. So I don't want to see you no more. I'm glad this season's over with. So therefore, I don't have to look at your faces anymore. And we'll tell somebody, please grab that Rodney guy and tell him to stop chewing on the paper on my desk. That's not grass, son. He needs to see a doctor. <laughs>